Lisa. We had a good old chinwag about our folks, the future and all that. Then, while I brewed us another cuppa, she scarpered, nicking off me savings and most of me best inventory. She's family, all right. Oh, so long, sis. Till next time. Oh, she left you a fancy rifle. Said it was too mouthy for her or something. So what do you think, Vault Hunter? Nina asked me to give these to you. From Nina? Lost count of the number of times she patched me up. I always hoped and dreamed, but I never expected. Now kill him. Use acid weapon. Test those strong love skinnies. What? Uh, you're getting dead? Nina is disappointed. Road of true love not run smooth. It more like dirt track covered in huge rocks. You tough. You kill first two suitors. Maybe Nina needs someone like you. Yes? No, Nina keeps same plan. Find suitor number three. Don't forget garden flowers. They much money.
Those big ones must be paddles. They don't seem too friendly, do they? Oh well, as they say, to make an omelet, you'll need to murder things. What? Oh, those fellows do like to slap you around a bit, don't they? slow them down and allow you to snatch them up. Hmm. Now grab it! it no, 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 I said catch, as in living. Dead specimens won't work. Try freezing them. You should be able to pluck them out of the ice. Try not to feed them either, they look hungry. Now that you have the specimens in your possession, you must send them to me. I have an old boyfriend named Seymour who runs a horrid little shop out of a rocket. Take the threshers to him and he'll be able to smuggle them off Opus and down to Pandora's surface.
You didn't feed one, did you? Plant them in the rocket. Warning, no atmosphere detected. tracking application on this Echo device indicates the rocket shall be delivered right on schedule. Bolt Hunter, talk to Seymour again and he will convey your reward. news, Vault Hunter. I tried to feed one. I've named him Terry, but it turns out he's acquired a taste for Pandoran flesh. I do hope I haven't disrupted the delicate ecosystem of Pandora by introducing a new species. Ah, pish posh. At least they're tiny buggers.
good. Give gifts. I know you, don't I? I do something for you? Nurse Nina, eh? Well, tell her that's very sweet and all, but I'm not interested. What? He reject Nina's love? Kill him with fire so he burns in my angry! Ha! I won't go down easy. Nina, you've always been the girl for me. Deadly, strong, and just the right amount of psychotic. I just had to know you were serious, and nothing says commitment like an attempted assassination. You come to Nina. She fix you. <laughs> I'll be there in a flash, my darling. Thanks, Vault Hunter. I owe you a debt of gratitude. That delicate petal has been on my mind ever since I first laid eyes on her.
Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, it was a dark day. He's good at looking after himself, but Nina still worry. Nina, thank Vault Hunter. Maybe you'll find someone special one day and almost kill them. You hurt. Nina, help. Nina, take care of you. Some kind of timing laser. I am talking to myself. So bad, something. This is a public Seriously? Okay. It's good for you. It's like Mother Nature's gathering. <laughs> Works for me. It's so dark in here. Things can be so much fun. You'll die. And your eyeballs will probably explode. This is where we're gonna build a super awesome robot army. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Aren't you the naysayer? <laughs> Evidently, this place became a regular ghost town. Dahl packed up and left after the Krakening, but we just need to get to the power suit oh, section and yeah. get things up and running again. Back roll, I need you, ganger. Talks. This place could have a serious talking station. Hope they've not destroyed any key systems in there. Still, you know how to handle yourself, which is something. Oh yeah! Give him a smack in! In your f***ing vice, skank! Warning, zero atmosphere requirements. jammed. Maybe oh, some kind of me. manual override. We need another way in. Find a console and hook me up to it. I bet I can do something about this. Perfect. Just give me a moment to look around. There's barely any power running through this. Ta-da! More nasties. Wire chews are everywhere. I hate them. Plus, it looks like local scavs have set up shop. Push through here and find me a console to plug into so I can find out what's ahead. And kill me some bugs while you're at it. How fun exploring new systems can be. Right then, past this building is the Stingray Factory Complex and beyond that, the Bot Factory. It's a pretty straight shot. I should be able to get us past any locked gates. You can get us past any stupid people. No! 
Another jammed door. Well, maybe it'll open if you give it a good pull. You might need to kill that. Entrance to the Stingray facility. Could you get me access to that gate console? I meant that rhetorically. I mean, you need to. Uh, we've got a problem. The security system's being all fighty and feisty, so. Oops, sorry. I'll work on opening the door. You deal with the turrets. Get it done. Whoever programmed you is an idiot. Attack the turret so they only fire at torques. Should help a bit. I'll get this stubborn thing open. Hopefully. Hey kids, how's it going down there? Having fun? Keeping things on track with the whole robot army plan? 
I think a lot of violence won't solve. Ichi, I'll see you soon. This door's being a huge pain in my digital arse. There's a jump pad nearby I can activate. Let's use that to get in. It was probably put there by scavs who used pads like that to sneak in and out of Concordia. like scavs have put up crude electric fields, presumably to keep out torques. Follow that cable. Let's see if we can shut it down. must be connected to a master fuse box somewhere. Follow them. They should lead the way out. master fuse box. Shutting it down should get us past this last electric field, though I suppose it'll probably shut down all the other fields as well. So eyes peeled for talks.
too right. Once have helped run a scav gang, but that didn't stop me finding these repulsive scraps of humanity disgusting. Each one you kill is making the universe a cleaner place. our huge scary laser gold star Tripped here forever. Come on over. I'll open up the door for you.
am I glad to see you. Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up when the scabs swept in, about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion R&D kind. Hey Jack, that true? I don't recognize him. Yeah, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry bruv, Gladstone Katoa, D-Division. What brings you here? Oh, D-Division, that's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green lit me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big-ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky-looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh, man. I wondered what was going on. So, why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space stationy? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. Oh. Gotcha. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. My prototype's almost done, but the scav stopped me from installing some key parts. Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bro. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity is here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of lame. Yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need to get access to the main bot factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor the systems from here. All right, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bro? You're trying to save the moon, and you seem like a stand-up guy. Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. Hello, I keep you breathing, eh? Yes?
Dion just didn't have the resources on Helios for my project. And there was all this old dial tech just left lying around. They gave me an escort team, but the scavs chewed them up pretty quick. I wonder if that's what happened to them. Anyway, then I was on my own. I knew they'd send a rescue party though. Never stopped hoping. Ah, uh, yeah, Hyperion didn't send us. I did. But you're Hyperion. Oh, bruv. You're the coolest company. Best three years of my life. Would never want to work for anyone else. You picked a winner here, Felicity. I don't want to count talks before they're hatched, but you know what? I think you're right. factory up ahead. That's where I was working on my prototype before the scabs shot up and claimed the place. Ah, look at them go. Maybe you scared them off with your uh, extremely scary vault hunterness. Remember, we're 
finally here. So, this is the birth canal of my new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the scabs came and forced me to be their medic. We'll need to clear the area of them before getting to work. You can always trust the gun at your side. Always happy to do business with them. something badass up in here? Of course, Prof. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. your side. Check back later to see Locked my... up. Mm. Let's see if we can get you in through the window. Let me see if I can get the cover down. Those guys are rude. Looks like scavs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. Reckon you should freeze and smash. Yeah. Whoa, tricky. It's a badass! 
should be in this room. Just flip it on. Do I come with a manual? closer to saving the world. Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers pack quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared. Lab. I'll walk you through the process. It should already be set up. is in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Okay, now pick it up. This is so friggin' hot. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. Huh? and the cage should open. Are you building that thing? Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Oh, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. Constructor will be able to digistrate highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, let me think about it. That's good. That's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. Targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that. Oh, to get the 
kills not you. are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you.
body feels strange. Arms, legs. Is this what it's like to be human? This is the worst. All right, let's see what you can do. and use the controls to get things moving again. Prototype is on its way to the testing chamber. 
Head on over there, so we can install our AI. Okie dokie, tickety talk, let's do this. I'm really sorry, kiddo. This is the only way. Vault Hunter, do it. Installing. Catch a gun! Never doing that again. in a fight. Trash the rest. Felicity, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can hear myself die. I can... There. Stop it.
but you know what? Appearances do matter. They need a little more... Je ne sais quoi. Let's go with Hyperion Yellow. Yes, sir! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Should I go ahead and start creating more? Yeah, you bet your ass. You know what? Come to think of it, other stuff needs a kick in the pants, too. Let me get that down. Think of awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. All right, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's, we'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. Damn. laser I've ever seen. Greetings, Nina, good for you. <laughs> that wasn't so tough. Here's where it gets fun. I stashed some food away for 
a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves. All right, here we go, everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go, we'll fast travel up there first. You follow behind. Shut that laser down soon. We can kiss this whole moon goodbye. See you on the other side, kiddo. What she said. Let's be heroes.